SJ here, and I'm going to talk about my top 10 films from 2008 until now. Now, the best film of 2008 was Fireproof. It's the third film by the Kendrick Brothers. And uh, it stars Kirk Cameron, and it's about a firefighter whose marriage is failing. And he goes on this journey in order to save his marriage. It's a very powerful story. If y'all haven't seen Fireproof, I highly recommend it. Okay, the best film of 2009 is The Blind Side. It stars Sandra Bullock, and as I said in our earlier video, I love Sandra Bullock, and she plays this woman who takes in this homeless youth, not only learns that he's very bright, but he's a great football player. And it's based on a true story. Um, if, uh, you, if you haven't seen The Blind Side, I highly recommend it. Okay, the best film of 2010 is What If. It stars Kevin Sorbo, it's directed by Dallas Jenkins, and uh, it's about a guy who is called into the ministry, and he doesn't want to go into ministry, so he goes in the opposite direction. And uh, 15 years later, he meets an angel named Mike, and he goes through this what-if scenario, and he gets to experience what if he accepted the call that God placed on his life. It's a very powerful story. If you haven't seen it, I think you all should check that out. Um, I, I recommend What If. Okay, the best film of 2011 is Courageous. It's the fourth film by the Kendrick Brothers, and it's my second favorite of their films. And it's about, um, it's, and it's very action-packed, and it stars Alex Kendrick and Ken Bevel and Kevin Downs and Ben Davies and, um, uh, and Robert Amaya and, uh, and, uh, it's a story about fatherhood, and it's very powerful. If y'all haven't seen Courageous, I highly recommend it. Okay, the best film of 2012 is October Baby, and it's about a girl who is the survivor of a failed abortion, and she goes on this journey to find out who to find out who her birth mother is, and um, and it's a very powerful story. Very touching story. I cry multiple times when I see that film. And uh, if y'all haven't seen October Baby, I highly recommend it. Okay, the best film of 2013 is Grace Unplugged. And the best way to describe that movie is The Prodigal Daughter. It's about a father and daughter who lead worship at a church. She decides she doesn't want to lead worship anymore. She wants to branch out and do other music. So she leaves home in order to pursue her dream in music. And uh, and it's a very powerful story. I cry multiple times in that film. And uh, at the end, she sings this very powerful song. And uh, I think it's the best song of that year. And um, so if y'all haven't seen Grace Unplugged, I highly recommend it. Okay, and the best film of 2014 is Mom's Night Out. And it's about a mom who struggles with stress. And she goes on a night out with her girlfriends. And she puts, and, they, and their husbands watch the kids. And it's one of those, it's one of those films where everything that could possibly go wrong, goes wrong. And it's a very hilarious movie. Um, if y'all haven't seen Mom's Night Out, I think y'all should check that out. And, um, and the best film of 2015 is War Room. Now, this is the fifth film by the Kendrick Brothers, and it's my favorite of their films. It's about a woman who meets an older woman, and the older woman mentors, she mentors the younger woman, in how to be a prayer warrior and it's a very powerful story and um if y'all haven't seen war room y'all need to see war room okay and um the best film of 2016 is called priceless and that's the film by for king and country and it's about a guy who has a job he has to, he has to drive this cargo across the country he doesn't know what the cargo is. He's, he's just told to. He's just told to drive, 
And when he finds out what the cargo is, once he finds out the cargo is actually two women, and he finds out what the women are being sold into, his mission becomes he has to rescue these two women no matter the cost. And um, so Priceless is a very powerful film. If y'all haven't seen Priceless, the DVD is actually coming out on Valentine's Day. So if y'all haven't seen Priceless, I highly recommend that y'all check out Priceless. Okay, and I know we just started 2017, but I want to tell you what I think the best film of 2017 is as of right now. And that is The Resurrection of Gavin Stone, also, direct, also directed by Dallas Jenkins. It stars Brett Dalton and Angela Johnson. It's a hilarious comedy about a guy who pretends to be a Christian in order to impress a girl and to audition for a passion play. And uh, it's a very hilarious comedy. And it's a very powerful story. And uh, if y'all haven't seen The Resurrection of Gavin Stone. You need to get to the theater this week to see it. Peace.